Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about Ghostbusters on the PSP. Ghostbusters, the video game, is an impressive game, but it depends on you if you consider it like this or not. The pros exceed the cons. Problem is the con are the controls. The game being almost a direct port of the PS2 version uses the same game mechanics. Problem is the PS2 has two joysticks. What to do, said the developers. Let's make people aim with the face buttons. And truth is, I've played other games like this and it was okay. I've played Call of Duty like this and I liked the game. I played this game like this and I liked it. But I admit that not everyone gets used to these controls. At least the targeting system is forgiving. You don't need 100% accuracy. The game is forgiving there. So even if the controls are bad, the game being forgiving it makes up for it. In Rust, the game is a beast. It feels like a PS2 game, it looks like a PS2 game, it has the same structure as the PS2 version, heck, it even has almost the same story and structure as the 360 version. There are some altered levels and cutscenes and lines, but it's pretty close, and the story in general is the same. Reviewers seem to complain about the graphics, because they aren't even comparable to the realistic graphics on the PS3 and 360. My question is, why will someone say that the graphics are bad if we compare the PSP to the PS3? It's like complaining about why do Java games have such bad graphics if the PC iteration looks so good. I mean, come on, it's a PSP. We have to judge it in context. And for PSP standards, the game looks good. But performance wise, I do admit that the PSP has a little bit of frame rate stutter here and there. But the best part about the game is the story. The story is great. It manages to catch the atmosphere and joke nuances of the movie. The story alone will most probably be the best driver. I mean sure, the controls aren't as comfy. But the story made many play the game till the end. And it's not just me saying that. But the meta score on Metacritic is really poor. My opinion is that the game is better than this score. I would incline to call it a hidden gem, but the poor controls kinda hinder me. Or better to say, the fact that so many people couldn't get used to the controls. Because for me the controls were fine. Sure, it's a little bit awkward to point with the face buttons. But after a while, at least in my case, I got used to them. And they felt comfy. The game is still good, and in my opinion, it's underappreciated. The game is in my opinion way better than the general consensus. I liked the little details like destructible environments, the great story that has fidelity to the source material, and the fun gameplay. The controls, as I said, were fine to me, I got used to them, but others didn't. Still, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, do yourself a service and at least try out the game. And even if you're not a fan, I will still advise you to still try it. Even if the meta score is so poor, I consider it an amazing game that deserves more appreciation. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.